Big business technology for small business. Good morning, welcome to BTP Coffee Break. How are you this morning? Partway through the week, a lot of schools finishing up this week here, a lot of kids coming home, a lot of us worrying about what we can do with kids. Anyway, welcome, welcome today. Well, yesterday, or well, the day before, covered a pet peeve. Today, let's talk about something that's not really widely understood. Why do IT people, IT guys, love to tell you you need a really good password? What is a really good password? How does this all work? Okay, well, us IT guys, we're always on people's backs. We're saying change your passwords frequently, make them difficult to guess, don't reuse them, blah, 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 blah. Why? Because we've seen the managing director's faces when they get hacked. We've seen business owners throwing up. We've seen people lose data. We've seen whole bunches of things that go wrong. And we're trying to save the rest of you from that same fate. Yes, this stuff happens. Us as IT guys, we're often seeing these things happen. And of course, we need to spread the word, let you know about it. So what's the deal with passwords? Well, most of us IT guys, we'd prefer you had a password that took a long time to crack. If you want to get a password and you're desperate enough, you can actually usually crack it within 30 to 40 days. So we usually find that changing your password every 30 to 40 days is painful, so we try and have a happy medium and change it every odd 60 odd days. But if you're a target, someone desperate enough, they will hack your password. They will hack away, hack away, hack away until they can get your password. So why would somebody wanna hack your password? It may not be you they're after. It might be your server, your resources, or something on your network. There might be something that you're dealing with. Let's say you're an environmental, environmental cleanup agency and you happen to be cleaning up a big spill and somebody wants the goss on what happened. But you're not involved except for the fact you're handling the data. Well, they'll want to hack you for the data. Let's say you've got a nice big fat fiber connection to the internet and somebody can uh, do a lot of damage with that fast connection, they'll hack you for your fiber connection or hack your server and use it to distribute all sorts of stuff. So you might not think you're a target, but in fact, you're a target. So what do we do about these passwords and uh, how does this all happen? Well, your passwords as stored on your server, um, we as IT guys can't even tell you what they are. Um, they are stored on there in a thing called hashes, something that we cannot see. So if you ask us what your current password is, we cannot tell you, not unless we hack it. Now, your hacker can get those passwords in a text file, which is still, you can't read them, and then run it through a bunch of tools. The first tool is a dictionary attack. So this is why people say don't put words in your password that make sense. So don't call your password cat dog. If there's two words that are in the dictionary, they'll hack that real quick. Don't call it cat dog one. Because the next process in any dictionary attack is to start adding numbers to the end and the start and capitalizing different words and different parts of the words and things like that. So this is why people say a number, character, capital, and a special character, like a hash symbol or something like that. Make it harder to guess and make it over eight characters. Typical eight character password can be hacked very quickly. There's another thing called rainbow tables. Rainbow tables are pre-computed passwords that match hashes. Very quick, very simple to zip through those and crack your password. Also there's brute force, just randomly guesses. Just start throwing numbers and things together till it guesses it. Now, I got a, a hash for a particular company there was around about 30 users in it. Uh, I put it through a password cracker and I cracked 90% of them in under a millisecond. The blood from the managing director's face drained out in front of me. You don't want to be in that situation. So let's give yourself some decent chance here. Let's get some decent passwords. So more than eight characters, make it a sentence. Spacebar is a valid character in a password, but make it a decent sized password. Don't reuse passwords. You know, Facebook got hacked last year and the people that got their email addresses and passwords out of that then tried against LinkedIn and found out these people are using the same passwords and usernames and emails and started hacking bank accounts and other things. You don't want to be in that situation. So please don't reuse passwords. Don't, um, don't try and make it simple and easy to guess. Don't write it down on a post-it note. So give yourself a fighting chance. Make it a decent password. Change it regularly and listen to your IT guy because they've had to clean up stuff before. Anyway, thank you today for joining me in this coffee break and have a great day.